It's the Dutch Miller Auto Show. Entertaining West Virginia for over 15 years. With your host, Chris Miller and Wes Thompson. Recorded on location right here in Huntington, West Virginia. And now, Chris and Wes. We are back. I'm Chris Miller along with Wes Thompson, and this haircut is I like it. shorter than usual. No, I like so it. I went into the uh, I went into the salon on uh, Saturday. And I was like, and she fit me in, you know. And oh, yeah. I, by the way, I always appreciate that. Yeah, my absolutely. schedule's hectic. Yeah. She, Shelly always does a great job. She fit me in, but she was like, hey. And I was like, hey, I want the summer cut. Like, I want to go, I want to get short. Short. She, she, did. she did what that I asked. That is a zero clipper that, faded up oh, on the top on the side. She, See, I like it. She got aggressive, so. Cassie didn't like when my hair's all cut short on the sides like that. You, 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 uh, she likes it. Yeah, summertime though is coming up. I, it, it's time. You know what I think you would look good with? Feathered hair. Feathered like if it went down, I'm talking like Nick Nolte circa 84. Like just, just if you would go straight Oh, you mean like the, the brush back. Yeah. It's like all like wavy and then it, and, and it kind of goes like. Yeah, yeah, right here. yeah. Oh, yes. oh, wow. Rick yeah. Springfield or like. Um, Jesse is a friend. Right. The, yeah, that's feathered hair. Tina can tell you about feathered Got hair. Got it. Feathered hair. Hmm. A lot of pictures of you with feathered hair. The straight brush back from the 80s. Yeah. Love it. So we have all kinds of stuff going on right now. Not only do we have a Chevrolet store and a Hyundai store in Huntington, we have a Kia dealership in Barbersville, West Virginia. We have a Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram store and a Kia store in South Charleston, West Virginia, a Subaru dealership in Charleston, West Virginia. And sometime during the you know, coming month of July, we will have another announcement of adding a Ford, a Chevrolet, and a Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram dealership in another area here in West Virginia. All kinds of fun, exciting stuff going on, lots of expansion and growth, but we are adding to the repertoire a large block of what we're gonna call truck center. And it is gonna be the it is gonna be the primary area to buy all of your trucks moving. The forward. truck capital. It is going to be the truck capital of West Virginia. And by the way, American trucks. American we're gonna trucks. have yes. the, we're, the, the flagship trucks, right? The Silverado. The Ford F-150 and the Ram, Ram 1500 Crew Cab Express 4x4. All in one location. All in one you area. You gotta say Crew Cab Express Ram 4x4 all, yeah. I can't, I can't not say it because I do the voiceovers and that's always what it, for a limited time, get a brand new Ram 1500 Crew Cab Express 4x4. Starting with just blah, 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 man. Yeah. Great disclaimers. So um, right now we have 512 pre-owned vehicles in stock. Um, I'm going to do a dialed in search here just to show you guys everything that we've got. But right now is an interesting time to buy a vehicle because your pre-owned vehicle is worth more than it ever has been. And that's probably going to last till about October, maybe September time frame. But if you were ever looking to sell or get rid of your vehicle, now is the time because dealers are paying more for vehicles than they ever have because of the shortage in new car inventory. Now we still have a lot of new cars in stock. We're one of the few dealers that has a bunch of them in stock. And they're constantly coming in every two weeks. So we are selling them and turning them over in a very, very fast, timely manner. But we have a bunch of pre-owned vehicles as well, which means that you can get a fantastic deal on a pre-owned car and pay less for it than you can going to the brand new dealer to get it. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And what's cool too is, you know, depending on which store you go to, uh, just some of the highlights I like to throw out there. First, let's start, uh, you know, over on the West End uh, at the Hyundai store. Um, every brand new Hyundai comes with a 20 year, 200,000 mile limited powertrain warranty. Uh, by the way, that's not a Hyundai thing. That is a Dutch Miller exclusive thing, right? Um, and then, of course, if you go to something like uh, the, 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 the Kia Barbersville store or the South Charleston Kia store, you also get the 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty on any brand new Kia. Um, and then you got stuff like, let's see, the Jeep dealer is the number one Jeep dealer in the state of West Virginia. You got the number one Kia, the number two Kia in the state of West Virginia, the number one overall Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram store in the state of West Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that when you're talking about the success and you brought up earlier that you're expanding, there's going to be even new stores popping up. Well, this is all the product of uh, the support that you get from the community and all of that's really the stemming of uh, friends and family pricing. It's amazing what happens. 
Uh, friends and family pricing has been a fantastic thing for us. And what I wanted to show you is something that's really, really hard to find right now. But you can get online and you can search our entire inventory at DutchMillerAuto.com and you can narrow it down to pre-owned. And what I've done after narrowing it down to pre-owned is in my search category, I just selected one price and that's one to $10,000. And right now, we have almost 100 vehicles in stock that are below $10,000. And by the way, this one's so good, it's sitting up vertically. Yeah, look at that, right? So I'm gonna click on some of these pictures, but here's a 2016 Chevrolet Spark that is a one owner for $9,500, $9,500. That is well below $200 a month. It's about $175 a month car payment, give or take depending on your credit and a couple other things in down payment. It is a fantastic, nice little vehicle. We can take a look at it and click on it really quickly. You can tell we just got this vehicle in. There's not many pictures of it. Can we give a little a little flack to whoever loaded these photos up? We should. Whoever loaded these photos Check this up. this out. You'll see it right here on the screen. This yeah. is really on the... Hey, by the way, this proves that what we're showing is really what's on the website. Yep. And someone just did a little uh, orientation issue with the... Photog By the way, an amazing amount of photos of this vehicle. Yeah, I know. Uh, they did everything bunch, right. There's 29 pictures of them. <laughs> they they're did. all sideways. Yeah. <laughs> they did everything right, except um, the orientation of the photos, but uh, we'll get that fixed. But this is a great car for under $200, $200 a month. You can get your kids back and forth to school. You can send your kid off to college that needs something very, very affordable. It's very, very efficient with gas, which means that you got 40 plus miles to the gallon, give or take. It is a great starter car. Somebody that's looking for something to get back and forth to work in looking for something efficient and, and, and very, very inexpensive to insure. This is the vehicle right here, and we've got a whole bunch of them. I mean, a whole bunch of them, but it's a 2016 model for $9,500. That is incredibly affordable. Here's a 2015 Altima for $99.88. That's under $200 a month in payment. Here's a 2015 Chevrolet Sonic for $93.10. That's under $200 a month in payment, and that's a great car. Let's take a look at this. This is at our Subaru store in Charleston, West Virginia. And we can just click on this and take a look at the pictures. It's in tip top shape. It's got all the digital speedometers and stuff. They did the pictures of this the right way, by the way. It's amazing. Great Clean car. vehicle. Yeah. Clean vehicle. Here is a 2014 Kia Forte for $89.99, that $89.97. That's under $200 a month. That's probably about $169, $170 a month car payment. Still a good looking car. Yeah, here's a 2013 Nissan Altima, $98.95. That is an incredibly affordable vehicle. Here's a 2013 Honda Civic, and this one's worth looking at um, as well for $8,500. That's, uh, you know, $165, $170 a month car payment. And you take a look at this vehicle, and it is in great shape. I'd like to point out while you're showing this vehicle, I've just had a little bit of this uh, coffee we had, just that nitro yeah. cold brew. I'm telling you, man, that's, I'm jittery. I mean, I'm sitting here going, you, you've barely had any. I've barely yeah. had any. I've drank the top of this thing off, and I'm over here just... Uh, You're not talking in tongues yet, this guy. <clears throat> no, I'm going to keep drinking it, but yeah. it's, uh, I think those things are no joke. So, Wes, here's a 2013 Kia Sorento. This is for $8,191. That is every bit of $160 a month car payment. It is a great, great vehicle in great shape.
Dutch Miller Jeep of South Charleston. New Jeeps are arriving daily, and there's never been a better time to buy or lease. With friends and family pricing for everyone, it's no wonder Dutch Miller continues to be the number one Jeep dealer in the entire state of West Virginia. Right now, during the Make This the Summer event, get a Grand Cherokee Laredo as low as $239 a month. Text or chat now, and even get pre-approved at DutchMillerJeep.com. We're coming today to the number one Jeep dealer in the entire state of West Virginia, Dutch Miller Jeep of South Charleston. This summer, he's back. Come out of the dealership, get some great deals, have a few laughs. Giving everyone the best deal right up front. Do you really think you have a chance against our prices, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki mother... For a limited time, get a 2021 Kia Sorento LX, starting at just $2.59 a month. It's getting hotter than a billy goat with a blowtorch outside, and there's three things I can't wait to do. Put every fan in the house on full speed and let it blow my mustache back. Two words, ice bath. <laughs> and crank up the AC in my brand new truck from Dutch Miller Ram of South Charleston. For a limited time, during the Make This the Summer event, get select Ram Bighorn Quad 4x4s, starting at just $2.20 a month. At Dutch Miller Subaru, our team is dedicated to providing our customers with the most positive car buying experience possible. Friends and family pricing for everyone, combined with the amazing Subaru lineup, means you'll leave the dealership satisfied beyond expectations. Every time. For a limited time at Dutch Miller Subaru in Charleston, get 0% financing for 63 months on brand new 2021 Outbacks. Text or chat now and even get pre-approved at DutchMillerSubaru.com. Dutch Miller Chevrolet in Huntington is the tri-state truck capital. For a limited time, take up to $5,000 off select brand new trucks or choose no payments for four months on Equinox and Silverado or ask about 0% financing for 72 months on select Chevys. And remember, the Tri-State Truck Capital is also the home of friends and family pricing for everyone. So come in today to Dutch Miller Chevrolet in Huntington or text and chat online now at DutchMillerChevy.com. Now, quick question for you guys. If your home had its own Sports Hall of Fame from any sports, who would be in your sports hall of fame? Go! Well, I mean, you would have like, uh, well, for me, I mean, you'd have like some of, the, for me, a lot of basketball players, right? Like I'd have like Michael Jordan and stuff like that, but I would add in people like pro wrestlers. Okay, no, I, I, I like where your head's at. Let's go with this. Yeah. Let's investigate this. So your hall sports of fame. hall of fame. If yeah. we're doing hall of fame, hall right? Of fame. I mean, yeah. I, you just can't throw anybody in there. I think it has True. to be almost like Mount Rushmore style. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I'll have a Jordan and I'll have a Ric Flair. Okay. You know. Hulk Hogan? Right, I mean, I think that's where it becomes the thing, right? Yeah. I mean, Hulk Hogan's an icon. I think he needs to be a part of it as well. So let's ask the cameraman how many people are allowed to be in our Hall of Fame. Yeah. I would say in your Hall of Fame, you're going to get seven people each go. I don't oh, know if I'm going to let the Hall of Fame God. get eaten up by two pro wrestlers, so i got to choose one. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, I mean, yeah, so you're going to have, I mean, like, you start looking at guys like Mike Tyson. You know, yeah. go in my Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, how do you not say someone like, uh, yeah, I mean, gosh, somebody said Muhammad Ali. And that needs to replace Mike Tyson, maybe. But then again, <laughs> I, you're saying in my home, does it have to be like this impact? People. Yeah. Right, does it have to be impact in my life? Because you start doing that, now I start getting into weird stuff like, you know, it'll be um, Macho Man Randy Savage and. But you've only got seven. Right, but I'm saying. And you're I'm, picking him over Magic Johnson. No, I'm in my well, in, in my house, like yeah. Kobe Bryant would probably be there, okay. right? All right, all right? You know what I mean? Like, um, and Michael Jordan was a I was a big Michael Jordan guy forever. Like Ricky Henderson, oh. you know, like the all time leading 40, st stolen yeah. base. Leader. Only guy to ever hit forty home runs and steal forty bases in a season. He, ever. Uh, Ricky Henderson, yep, yeah, all time leading steal stolen base guy. Um, does Pete Rose make it? Yeah, probably in mine. He does. I love Pete Rose. Uh, my, I grew up a Reds fan. I mean, I, I can tell you. I'm just going to go right into it, and I'll tell you exactly who will be on mine. Rocky Marciano, Sugar Ray Robinson, Mike Tyson. I'm seeing a trailer. Three, three boxers. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Marvin Hagler. Andre the Giant. 
my boy. <laughs> Can I put in a fictional one like Jimmy Chitwood? Sure. Oh, he was a great one. Yeah. Um, and I'm picking Andre the Giant. I note this. I'm picking Andre the Giant over Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair, who I'm a big fan of Ric Flair because he was the most brilliant narrator and uh, um, you know uh, monologuer in the history of wrestling. Um, and I'm picking him over um, the Ultimate Warrior, who, as a child, I understood who the Ultimate Warrior was, and I understood everything that he said and everything that he stood for. Like, I understood who that man was. Do you remember the Ultimate Warrior before he was the Ultimate Warrior? The Dingo he Warrior. was the Dingo Warrior. Yeah, yeah. He, he was best as the Ultimate Warrior. Because as a kid, Andre the Giant was not only huge and legendary, but he also was in The Princess Bride. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. He was. Well, that's yeah. all thing worthy right there. And then you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was Roger Murdoch in Airplane. Yep. You know, so that's kind of cool. Yep. I would have to, and I've got to pick one more. And I already Crash said, Davis from Bull Durham was oh. great. Baseball. Yeah. So uh, Walter Payton. Walter Payton, good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Walter Payton. Sweetness. Yeah. yeah. Sweetness. Number thirty-four. He was awesome. Solid citizen. Yeah. He was a good guy. Toughest running back ever. I tell you, when I think about running backs, I mean, you have to put Walter Payton like in that like top echelon. But as far as most fun to watch, for me, it'll always be Barry Sanders. Low center Barry of gravity, awesome. the ability to spin. He was just fun to watch. Oh, watch no him doubt. come out of a pile, and you'd be like, yeah. oh, he's down. Oh, no, he is not. And then he's just keep running. Yeah, he was awesome. So who would be your seven? I, 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 you know, I mean... It's Again, hard. It is. That's like really how hard. About, how about Rocky Marciano is prime versus Mike Tyson at his prime? Guys, hold on a second. Guys that like I grew up in my household that were like my like posters on my wall. Let's put it that way. Pete Rose, yes. Michael Jordan, yes. Kobe Bryant, yes. Um, and then after that, you start getting into like, did I really have like was I really that big of a Bo Jackson fan? I was kind of a Bo oh, Jackson, Bo Jackson fan. was amazing. I remember I bought a Kansas City. Remember when like so when we were kids. That was around the time the fitted baseball caps really yep. hit, when they first and that started. was like kind of cool when you found Nera, one. Right? Uh, yeah, when the, when they when they had the fitted ball caps, yeah. I remember the first one I found was at Myrtle Beach, and I was like, they didn't have any at the Huntington Mall yet. No, they weren't there. Yeah, you found, found it. it at the Myrtle Beach, and I was yes. like, they had the fitted ball caps here, and they were kind of more expensive. Oh yeah, they were like twenty bucks, yeah. and like a ball cap at the mall is like nine dollars. Yeah. These were like twenty dollars, and they were wool and all that. And the first one I ever got was Kansas City because of Bo, Bo Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, so I mean, like maybe he would be on mine. And then I was not joking earlier. Like I would start putting in fictional characters. Like I loved Crash Davis. Like I'd have like that was uh, Kevin Costner's character in Bull Durham. Yeah, uh, he was. And by, by the way, he was playing a real character, which was the guy who's the all-time leading home run hitter for minor league baseball. Yeah, and um, and then of course Jimmy Chitwood from the Hoosiers. Yeah, right from from the Hoosiers from Hoosiers. You know, you can buy that movie at the Walmart. The Walmart. Yeah, yeah, on the VHS or the interwebs. Yeah, or the, the worldwide interwebs. Man, how do you not include guys like Babe Ruth? Because I don't. Have, I, didn't, I never yeah, had any I, love for Babe Ruth. I didn't care about Babe Ruth. I did like. I brought up Ricky Henderson. Rhetorically. Oh yeah, yeah sure. I, I, yeah, I mean the icons, right? Babe Ruth, Muhammad Ali. I think you put Michael Jordan in that that crew. We almost have to break down this category to create a Mount Rushmore for each sport. Yeah. And it can't have any more than four people. And you've got one for the NBA. You've got one for Major League Baseball. You've got one for boxing. You've got one for the NFL. You've got one for hockey. Like, that's how we have to do this. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, when I think about the NBA, I think Kareem, Michael, LeBron, and Magic, probably not in that order. Um, but those I, are probably my, my Mount Rushmore. I would put Larry Bird in there. Uh, you think he's in the top four? Well, God, you got got Oscar Robinson. Wait, I mean, well, by the way, by the way, yeah, I'll be honest with you. Larry Bird, he probably is in my top ten, but yeah. I don't think he even sniffs the top five. Wow. Right? Wow. I mean, because when you really start breaking some of these players Will down. You, yeah, you, Will you, Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain, I, Bill Russell, for that matter, Akeem Olajuwon. I mean, yes. he's Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe yeah. Bryant. I mean, you, you start really looking at these names, there's some yeah. some bold people there, man. And, and then, then Who are your have, favorite baseball players, by the way? People forget about baseball. I don't. I, I couldn't name you ten well, active Rushmore baseball players. And right my now. favorite baseball players are two different conversations. That's right? that's that's fair. Yeah. Like, like Ken Griffey so, Jr. makes my list. Yeah, but I don't know if he Rose. makes Mount Rushmore. Yeah, I don't. You don't um, yeah, probably not. Babe Ruth makes Mount Ru Mount Rushmore, hands down. Sure. You got to have a pitcher in there, and so who's that pitcher? Yeah, it's is hard it to choose Nolan Ryan. Yeah. Or is it Carl Yastrzemski? 
Carlin Strimsky was a catcher. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. No, wait a minute. No, I'm thinking. No, I'm yeah. thinking of Pudge. Carlin Strimsky was a hitter. Yeah, I'm thinking. But I'm thinking. Strimsky a hitter? Was he a not? Car I'm not, not Carl Yastrzemski. I'm thinking of Carlton Fisk was the catcher. Sandy Koufax. Uh, Sandy Koufax was a heck of a pitcher. Uh, By the way, we're showing we know very little about baseball. Randy Johnson. There, are, there are people right now on the other side of this uh, television set that are going. They don't know. They shouldn't talk baseball. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Uh, Pete Rose. See, I love Pete Rose. Yeah. Yeah. I love Pete Rose. Why would you not hate Muhammad Ali? In, the, we're talking about in baseball. baseball. We're talking about boxing. We're talking about baseball right now. You went into boxing. You said Rocky Marciano. You never said. But Ali. it was my personal, not. He's like, definitely on the Mount so Rushmore. So we're talking about the Mount Rushmore boxing. Yeah. You've got to have Floyd Mayweather and you got to have Muhammad Ali on there. Okay. okay. And then you got to have Rocky Marciano. Okay. You didn't say it. And like the fourth one, it's not about who my favorite is. It's who made the most impact. And I'd say you, you probably have to have Jack Johnson. You leaving Mike Tyson out now? I, I, I don't think I'm you can put. I don't know. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. <laughs> That's a hard one. You know, Tyson, Tyson was more of a, a fascinating, captivating figure that always represented what he could be versus what he really I don't was. know about always, man. ESPN Classic ran, like, all the fights back-to-back. -back. And, man, the first, like, 35 fights oh, he was were just demonstrations of absolute <laughs> brutality. But, I mean, it was like a minute and a half of ka ka ka, -ka And yeah. you were like, well, that fight's over. We so, were cooking dinner, and we were through, like, the first 11 fights in, like, 30 yeah. minutes. You know, it was nuts. So Mike Tyson, though, was a different fighter after Customato died. Customato was the guy that built Mike Tyson. He built him with what's called the peekaboo style, which worked perfectly for Tyson, who was compact, 5'10", 5'11", strong legs, could move to the side, would jab, move, change angles, and had this ability to swarm his opponents with incredible defense and offense. And that fighting style is really, really hard to maintain. And when Customato passed away, Tyson didn't have the same focus and the same training, and you have to have an incredible amount of discipline and an incredible amount of conditioning to really continue on with the peekaboo fighting style. And so Tyson later in his career was not the same fighter as he was early in his career because of the style that was built and the, the, and the training and conditioning that's required for it. Um, so is he on your Mount Rushmore? It's tough. Tough. If you only got four to put on there, I don't know, man. Wow. I don't know. But you got to keep in mind, too, like, you know, where Chris boxes himself, he has a much more intimate thought process on it. Whereas for me, it's more about, like, flash, and so he would definitely be there. For me, it'd be, like, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, and then I'd start filling it in with guys I know the names of. You know, I'd be like, oh, yeah, sure, uh, George Foreman, Evander Holyfield, maybe, uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Um, right, Sugar Ray. God, it's hard not to put Sugar Ray Leonard on there. It really is. But, yeah, I mean... You're putting the more in Rushmore. That's exactly right. It's a bad joke. Hey, by the way, we sell cars. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're back. Yeah, we sell cars. Excellent. So we have a Chevrolet dealership in Huntington, West Virginia, a Hyundai dealership in Huntington, West Virginia, a Kia dealership in Barbersville, West Virginia, a Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram store, and a Kia store in South Charleston, West Virginia, as well as a Subaru dealership in Charleston, West Virginia, plus just in the West Virginia markets, we have three more dealerships, a Ford, a Chevrolet, and a Chrysler Deep Jeep Dodge Ram dealership that is to be announced in the month of July, which is really, really, really exciting. We've got other expansion opportunities coming up and other dealerships outside of the state, but we're just focusing on what's in West Virginia. And we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six, soon to be nine stores just in West Virginia. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. And like Wes said earlier, earlier, it literally all starts because of friends and family pricing for everyone. We have the, with the manufacturers with the best support, the best reliability, the best warranties, and we have a pricing system that makes sure that our customers get a great deal right up front so they don't have to go to the ups and the downs and the backs and the forths. They get a great deal presented to them at the, at the very, very beginning. And so that has led to our rapid growth and our rapid expansion aside from, you know, our people, right? I was going to say, it's also yeah. about the culture and the people yeah. that you've gotten uh, corralled there. The people on the ground that make the experience for the customer is ultimately the absolute most important ingredient to all of our um, growth and success. And it's a lot of fun selling cars right now. 
there, it is a wild time to be in the automotive industry because there's so much pent up demand. And there's also a shortage when it comes to cars. So we're selling stuff off of the trucks as they come in so quickly. I've never seen anything like it, it's crazy. But at the same time, if you ever had a vehicle that you ever wanted to get rid of in or trade in, right now is the time to do that because pre-owned vehicle values are higher now than they ever have been. So you will get more money right now for your trade than any other time that we've ever been a part of in the car business. I'm gonna blow your mind, but I think our Mount Rushmore conversation leaked all the time oh out there, gosh. so it's time to go. We rambled and rambled. So it's been a lot of fun. We're a, car, we're a car automotive group right here in West Virginia with all kinds of stuff going on, and we would love to the chance to have your business. There's a number at the bottom of the screen. Call in right now, shop from the comfort of your own home. Realize that at Dutch Miller Automotive, we're here to take care of you, anything that you ever need when it comes to selling, buying, or servicing your vehicle. Text or chat, even get pre-approved right now, DutchMillerAuto.com. Folks, we'll see you next time. It's been the Dutch Miller Auto Show. Thanks for tuning in.